Hello everyone and welcome to another one of my videos. This time I'm going to teach you how to make your own security camera that can also film in the dark using a Raspberry Pi. Anyway, let's get on with the project. As this is my first video in this series, I would appreciate your feedback in the comments below. Also, please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. The key element of this project is of course the Raspberry Pi. Any type of Raspberry Pi will work, except the Raspberry Pi Zero would require a USB OTG cable and the Raspberry Pi Zero camera cable. Also needed is the Pi No IR camera module. This is different to the standard Raspberry Pi camera module, because it has the infrared filter removed, meaning that it is sensitive to infrared light. As the camera is sensitive to infrared light, you can take advantage of this by using infrared LEDs to illuminate whatever the camera looks at. This will be great because humans and most animals can't see infrared light. A PIR motion sensor will be used to sense the presence of a person or animal. Finally, a waterproof enclosure will be used to house the components and keep them dry outside. The first step is to download Raspbian and then burn it onto a micro SD card or SD card if you are using the Raspberry Pi 1. If you are using a Mac, you can use a free program called Apple Pie Baker and if you are using Windows then you can use Win32 Disk Imager. After this, the SD card can then be put into the Raspberry Pi and booted up. For this project you should use at least a 2 amp power supply, such as the official Raspberry Pi power supply, to cater for the Raspberry Pi and the additional camera. Once booted up, type Pi for the username and Raspberry for the password. To enter the desktop, also called the graphical user interface, type Start X. Bear in mind that in some cases you will be brought straight to the desktop. You can complete the next step in two ways. You can either navigate to the terminal on the Raspberry Pi, or you can use SSH like I'm doing. Once at the command line, type sudo nano ircamera.py to create a Python file for our code. To allow the program to do something, some code must be typed in. To begin with, I'll show you how to get the Raspberry Pi to output text whenever motion is detected. Start by typing the following. The first line of code tells the Pi which libraries to import. The next line indicates that GPIO pin 4 will be used for the motion sensor. The final four lines say that every time the motion sensor detects motion, this should display motion detected. To allow motion to actually be sensed, a motion sensor must be connected. Connect the VCC the motion sensor to pin 4, ground to pin 6 and the output to pin 7, which is GPIO pin 4. The final step to make this part work is to save and run the file. Do this by typing Ctrl X and then type Y when it asks you to save changes and finally press enter to keep the same file name. To run the script, type sudo python3 ircamera.py to run the script. Every time the motion sensor is activated, the program text should appear. Now that the motion sensor is working, that information needs to be used to trigger the camera. The first step in doing this is to plug the camera module into the Raspberry Pi with the metal contacts facing away from the Ethernet port. Next, go into the Raspberry Pi configuration by either going to Preferences in the menu or by typing sudo raspi config into the command line. Scroll down to enable camera, press enter, then hit enable. When it asks you to reboot, click yes. Navigate back to the terminal after reboot and type sudo nano pircamera.py to open a new python script. Some of the code is the same, but this time we're adding in code for the camera and for the date and time. Begin by typing. After typing in all this code or copying it from the files in the description, save and close the file. To test the code, type sudo python3 pircamera.py. Whenever you walk in front of the sensor, the Pi will start recording and a red light will come on the front of the camera module. If all goes well, then this project is almost done. 
The penultimate step is to add some infrared LEDs so that the camera can see in the dark. Infrared illuminators can be bought online for about £6 or you can buy some infrared LEDs that are very cheap. The LEDs can be connected to pin 2 for VCC and pin 9 for ground. The final step is to put all the electronics into a housing. If you plan to use this outside like I am, then you should buy a waterproof enclosure. It is up to you how you mount everything in your enclosure, but I use Lego, Blue Tack and Super Glue. With the motion sensor, I use the laser cutter to cut the hole, but you could possibly use a hole saw, being careful not to crack the plastic. The area around the motion sensor also needs to be watertight. The camera module can be mounted simply by using a riser and sticking it to that. Finally, a hole can be cut to allow the power cable to come in. That hole can be filled with sealant to make it watertight. Thank you for watching another of my videos. I hope you enjoyed it and learnt something and please leave a like if you tried this yourself. Also please share this video and consider subscribing. That is it for now and I'll see you in my next video.